言えない Guys, today I'm gonna set myself a challenge. I'm gonna be doing manga May, which means I'm gonna be doing a manga drawing every day through May and try and get better at drawing manga faces. There isn't one style of manga, there's loads of different styles. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with the characters that I already know. So today I'm doing Naruto. I'm gonna draw him with no reference, so I'm gonna draw him out of my head, just remembering what he looks like basically. I'm gonna do one drawing of him, I'm not gonna practice it beforehand, I'm not gonna look at a picture, I haven't looked at any pictures, I'm just gonna go in and draw it straight into my sketchbook. So if you wanna join in with me, this is day one. What I'm gonna do is draw him every day this week and see if my next week's video is any better. And then maybe I'll do a different character each week. So hit me down in the comments. Let me know what characters from anime or manga you want me to draw. Let's get stuck in. Okay, so if you're enjoying the cover I've done on the front, you can go to my video and see how I did that if you like. Right, so I literally haven't had a look at uh, Naruto or anything like that. And I can't really remember what a lot of the bits of his face look like. I know he's got spiky hair and everything. I know what he looks like, but I just can't remember any of the details. So I'm a bit slow to start here. And then I just think, right, I've just got to go for this. So just sticking in his headband and just getting a shape. After I'd done this, I did have a look and I saw I've got the shape of his face completely wrong. But it doesn't matter because it gives me a baseline to start off and see where I can improve. So straight away I already know from having done one picture what the shape of his face looks like. And again his nose, I couldn't, I haven't, I can't remember what his nose looks like at all. I know he's got, he obviously has a lot of different facial expressions. Okay, I think I did quite a good job of his eyes, like the shape. I think when I start putting the the pupils and irises in, yeah, it gets a bit funky. He looks a bit buzz eyed but this is only only drawing the the, um, the sketch I did at the start. Right, so I'm putting in the headband. I'm pretty confident I did a quite a good job on his headband. I haven't had a proper look yet. Uh, I almost got the leaf thing right on his head. I think there's an extra flick I didn't do. I think I swirled it around the right way. I guess it goes that way. And then obviously he's got spaggy hair. But I'm not quite sure. Does he, can you see his ears? Can you, has he got, I can't really remember. So it's going to be great to see like the next picture I do, which I'll record and somehow um, and show you how I did. So all my, all my practice pictures, I'll record them definitely, or at least take photos of them. And then I'll be able to see all, all the ways I went wrong. So here, I actually quite like that smile, but it's just not quite in the right place. It's, I think it's too low down. So I've gone over the top. I'm not worried about making mistakes because I'm going to rub it all out before I ink it in anyway. Yeah, so if you rub all the lines out, because obviously you're pressing hard when you're drawing, they're not going to rub out completely anyway. Leaves a really nice ghosty line to go over the top off with your pen. His eyes are a bit wonky when I'm looking at it now. I didn't really stop to make sure everything was perfect because I knew it would be my first go and it doesn't really matter. Right, so I'll rub out all the lines so I can get a nice uh, ghosty line 
you can see it doesn't, even though I'm rubbing out and I'm pressing down quite hard I can still see the, the image underneath and then I just pulled out like a marker pen you could use like a sharpie or anything and then just started going over the lines I didn't really change too much So what I'll probably do over the week is get a few images of Naruto. I'll start off with ones like face on like this that are nice and easy to draw. And then as the week goes on, I might try some different facial expressions and things like that. And then I'll show you them all next weekend. So you can see how I've come along. And then we'll do the next person. Uh, I'm listening to the music as I go for this. It's like bringing back all those memories of Naruto. If you've watched Naruto before, put down in the comments what's your favourite uh, series or episode, or who's your favourite character. There's so many good characters in Naruto. I think my favourite character is probably Jiraiya. I think that's what his name is, like the grumpy Grandpa Sage or whatever they call him. Pervy Sage. It's been so long since I've watched it. Forget all the people's names. When you put in his fox whiskers, you can really start to tell who it is. Okay, so I decided I think I don't think you can see his ears. I'm not sure, so I just didn't put them in. You probably can, because they wouldn't draw him without ears. I don't think. And then I, I didn't go exactly over the lines I'd drawn before. I can't remember what his hair looks like. I know it is. I think it's just purely spiky, like a hedgehog. I don't think there's any bits that drop down. I think that's Baruto. His hair drops down a bit more. Cool. I should have really finished off his collar better than that. Right, so that was my first go. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you've enjoyed it. Peace.